Good morning. I'm Barb. I'm the author of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. I have all the pugs with me today. This is Liberty sitting right there going to sleep on her giraffe. You see her little face there? And I have Ebony right beside me. And then Lip Pippa is right here doing what Pippa does best, cleaning her giraffe. I'd like to be outside talking to you today, but the temperature in Arizona it will be 113 in a couple of hours. It's already 107. So I think we'll stay in all together and stay cool. I have all their little friends today. You met the giraffes. This is Ebony's elephant. You will find all of these little creatures and the pugs in future books. I have eight books in the series and I eventually will get to them all for you. Today I'm reading and continuing reading The Diaries of Liberty the Pug, book one, Going Home. This is Liberty's first book. She is my co-author and they are written as if she is talking. Today is chapter visitors. Company is coming to the house to meet me. Mum is brushing my coat washing my face and cleaning my ears. I'm not sure if I like this getting ready for company. I like being brushed, but the ear cleaning, oh! I like mum washing my face with a soft cloth. I feel clean and pretty, ready to meet my new friends. Ding dong, the front door bell rings. I'm so excited, I don't know what to do. Which way shall I run? I run up the hall, I run down the hall. I jump up on a chair. Mum picks me up and I'm panting. My long pink tongue is hanging out as I wag my tail faster than I ever have before. What or who is behind the door? This is Liberty. She's wondering who's behind the door. Faces, lots of faces with big smiles coming to see me. Friends and family who want to hold me and pat me and sit me on their lap. They have toys and cards and balloons for me. I'm standing on the floor looking up at everyone. So many feet. I hear mum call out, look out for the puppy. Don't tread on her. The room is full of people and I'm frightened. Daddy comes to my rescue and scoops me up in his arms and sits down in his chair with me. I sit looking around at the happy noisy faces and I'm wishing I could tell them Thank you for coming to see me, but I want you to leave now. I decide to stay safe with Daddy on his chair and not move. When all the visitors leave, I give Daddy lots of face licks to show him I'm glad he picked me up and saved me from being squished by all of those big feet. Do you have family and friends who visit you? Please look after your pets when you have company so your pets do not get trodden on run out the door, or be given food that might make them very sick. There's Liberty looking up at all the company, not sure if she really wants company today or not. This chapter is when Liberty wasn't feeling well. She had a lot of health issues when we got Liberty, and so she needs extra, extra care. She's very special not feeling well. Waking up today, it hurts me to open my eyes and my eyes are feeling very painful. I hear mum's footsteps coming down the hall. Mum picks me up and as she looks at me, she knows something is very wrong with my eyes. Mum and daddy quickly get me into the truck and drive me to see my Dr. Capwell right away. We're at Dr. Capwell's office. Mum is looking worried Daddy holds me close to his chest. I can hear Daddy's heart beating. Dr. Capwell cleans my eyes with a soft cloth. She's talking to Mom and Daddy, saying, Libby needs an operation on her eyes. You will need to take Libby to an eye specialist for dogs at the animal hospital. I'm thinking to myself, what does this mean? The next few days, we ride often in Mom's red truck to the animal hospital to visit with my special eye doctor. 
the doctor performed surgery on both of my eyes. The doctors and nurses are kind, but I'm glad when mom and daddy come to take me home. I feel shaky all over and I cannot stand up. Mom tells me it's the medications the doctors gave me and she holds me close with bandages covering my eyes and a special large plastic collar around my neck. I'm so glad to be back in Mom's arms. The doctor told Mom and Daddy my eyelashes are not growing correctly and my eyelashes have been scratching my eyes. I also have a tiny hole in one eye that the doctor took care of during my operation. The doctor told us very often puppies born in puppy mills have lots of health problems and puppy mills are very, very bad places. We should all try to have puppy mills shut down. While my eyes are healing, mum and daddy sit with me, holding me every day, giving me eye drops and medicine. The good part is I sleep in mum and daddy's bed every night and it helps me feel better to be curled up with them. It is taking a long time for my eyes to heal, but my eyes are starting to feel better. Do you know someone who's being unkind to animals or someone who is keeping too many animals in cages and not taking good care of them? If you know people who are cruel to animals, please tell a policeman or the veterinarian or your parents. That's all for today. Next time I read from Libby's book, you'll find she's feeling a lot better and she's going to be off to the park. Thank you for listening today. I hope you're enjoying the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. Please let me know. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Bye for now.